Welcome art friends. We're going to be learning about the artist Reggie Laurent and we're going to be using his artwork to inspire us to make organic and geometric shapes. So who is Reggie Lawrence? Reggie Lawrence is a self-taught artist born in Chicago. He creates intricate, colorful, abstract art that just looks like it glows. Watch the artist work. Look at all the shapes, organic and geometric, and look at all the amazing colors. What colors and shapes do you see? Before we get started on our Reggie Lawrence inspired artwork, let's hear from the artist himself. Hello, Snyder Elementary. This is Reginald Lerone. Miss Lindsay contacted me and asked me to give you a quick shout out. I understand you're going to be creating work in my DNA style. Very cool. Above all else, have fun with this project. It's organic and geometric shapes and a whole lot of detail work. So everybody's work should be very, very different. You don't need to look at your neighbor. Create your own individual art and project your own individual visual voice and so you're going to have a ball with this project. Hey, I want to see your creations when you're done. So have fun with them, take your time, and just make sure they're full of detail because that makes them more interesting. Thanks again for studying my art style and have an awesome day. Before we get started, we need to pick some colored paper. I'm going to start with this green paper folded in half. I want to make a heart. Easiest way to make a heart is to fold it in half. Make sure you have a good line down the half. And I'm going to draw one side of my heart. To draw a heart, the first thing you do is a curved line on top, like a rainbow. Then you are going to go to the bottom and connect to this point here. Go from the bottom corner, draw your line up, and connect to your rainbow. You want to make sure you did this on the folded side. Then you're going to take your scissors, thumb in the little hole, fingers in the big hole, and cut the line you drew. Please make sure to keep it folded. You're only going to cut the lines you drew. Nothing else. You don't want to cut your folded line or your heart will be cut in half. Once you're done, you open the paper and you have a heart. Now you can glue it on. Make sure when you're using your glue stick to get lots of glue all over the back of your heart, all around the edges and in the middle. Then you're gonna turn it over and you're going to squish it onto the middle of your paper. Still have some paper left? You can make some other shapes. I'm gonna make some geometric shapes. How about some triangles? Now, to create our Reggie Laurent inspired art, we're going to be making lots of different shapes. Organic, geometric. You can use the different colors of paper and you can draw whatever shapes you like on the paper or you can just have fun with your scissors to see what happens. Did you make a mistake cutting out your shape like I did? That's okay, make a new shape. No shape is wrong for this project. Get as crazy as you want. What kind of shapes could you make? Can you make a snake? Can you make a circle? Arrow? Triangle? Hearts? Mm, what else? Rectangles? Crazy shapes? What can you make? You are going to cut out a lot of different shapes first before you glue any of them. That way you can move them around if you need to. The important rule in this project is no shapes are going to touch each other. You want to have space between each one, a little bit of black paper. Look at the artwork I'm creating. Are my shapes touching? No. Have I glued anything yet? No. I want to make sure the shapes are exactly where I want them before I glue anything else down. So at this point, all I've glued is my heart. When you're sure you have all your shapes where you want them, then you start gluing. Remember to do lots of glue on the back and squish your shapes. Make sure that your paper has lots of shapes and not a lot of black paper left. I can't wait to see what you guys do. Make sure your name's on your artwork. Next week, we are gonna be finishing these projects adding colors, shapes, and patterns. I can't wait to see these finished. Bye for now.